I think the great thing about the movie is that we're all jumping off that cliff together. Yeah. And it's, it's, it, it's not, it doesn't always happen that everyone stays friends before, during, and after. And I think what's unique about this film is that we're all, we're all in it together and we're all excited about the movie. And, and um, we, we produce a lot of films and it hasn't been the case every time. And, and it's, it's really nice to have it be the case on this one. I think it's also one of those, uh, when you, it's a very professional team. Yeah. Uh, and I remember when we, um, you said we're jumping off the cliff together, we, we jumped as, as you many times do without the bond having closed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But every, true, everybody yeah. was still saying, okay, let's do it. Let's, but but, yeah. but then things came through and I think we were almost uh, shot when the bond finally closed because of course it was really, it's now we have to jump or not. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, and... Um, so there was, uh, this ingrained, there was this trust. That there was this trust and I think the financiers, that, that's always a, a very scary jump. But, but this was... Uh, I, and again, you said the contingency wasn't spent. I mean, we, on many other films with higher budgets, craft services will have all these. You guys just had vegetables. I mean, it was just, <laughs> well, there were so a lot of, of vegans <laughs> on the films. We're, there were like ninety percent <laughs> vegans on the films. Just, okay, we're, more yeah. cauliflower, more cauliflower. <laughs> so. Funny, you picked up on that. We, it was tough. I mean, it was it was a hard it was a hard experience where you learn a lot about yourself and um, and just you know put one foot in front of the other and uh, just started to make independent small low budget films and and cut our teeth and um, learn how to make good movies and but also learn every facet of the <coughs> filmmaking process from you know and, and and from like development to acquisitions and distribution. Well, that, and that's what the, the low budget movies really give you. I mean, movies like Old Joy, I mean, cost you know, hundred thousand dollars. Like you can really go in and and learn from those experiences and, and try to sell the movie yourself even. And, and, and we did those things and, and we not knowing you know, what not to do. Yeah, I think that's yeah. important. And I think that's really important for young producers coming here that they that they really just go for it. What we experienced is um, producers who kind of came into, I mean, we had experience uh, outside of producing, um, working for other producers in New York, but then to come here and not know anybody really um, firsthand, and we, what we experienced was uh, how important film festivals like Sundance uh, are for creating a community, and in that community, this great creative exchange that happens between directors, other filmmakers, cat actors, uh, writers, other producers, and everyone, you know, everyone ha like figuring out who they like to work with and who, like, get, making those first connections that are going to lead to um, long-lasting uh, relationships. I mean, Sundance definitely allowed us that access to, to grow, and, and like Jay said, we, when we came here in 2006, we used that opportunity to meet with distributors and sales agents and, and ever agents and everyone else so we could actually learn about that part of the business which is so crucial to us being able to basically sustain it and a since, living. yeah and since then we it's a it's just the best place to launch your film you know it's as simple as that um, everyone's here what I'd like to see happen is is that producers have a real way of working together and, and, and understand the benefits of sharing uh, with each other, even though they're in an competitive, extremely competitive environment, and, and understanding better how that, where you're competing with each other and where you're actually, there's no, there's, it's, not, it's not a zero sum competition in many areas of production. You see it in every, almost every other industry. You don't see it in, in independent film. We're, we're sort of these alienated people that, are, that, that, that haven't quite figured out how to say, yeah, well, this is the deal I got, you know? This is how I, I realized, like, this, is what, this, was, this was the negotiation, this is the outcome of the negotiation that I had. What do you, how about you? Oh, okay, so you get a better understanding of precedent. A lot of independent producers, we, we get together at festivals and have gatherings and we, and we talk about what's not working, you know, instead of what's working. And I think that's, that's really crucial and, and it helps, you know, to, to know that we're all feeling the same thing. And that, that's also why we're really excited to be part of the PGA because it's sort of, you're, you're part of a family of people who understand what you go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And, um, because it, it's tough out there. Yeah, we may have three films of Sundance, but we're still going back to New York in, in a week or you're going to Rotterdam, but, and we're still going to think about how we're going to pay rent in a few months. You need an organization where we are transparent and we all share the same problems, whether you're big budget financier or low budget independent documentary uh, filmmaker. 
it, it is about health insurance. How are we going to pay the office rent? You know, can we? We're all overworked. You were saying before you you built a relationship, working relationship together. In my experience, producers or or I should say production companies find the same way of working together because we need as as the budget gets bigger, we need experts in all fields. Yep. And you tend to, you, you have to kiss many frogs before you meet the prince, and you tend to surround yourself with people like, I had a good experience with that Canadian producer, and when you know I need a Canadian co-producer, you're gonna call that guy, because yeah. we're spending a year or two together, and, yeah. and yeah. Uh, you're trusting each other with not just the money, but with the creative talent, with everything. So I, I find that the PGA, since I joined, and this is, maybe five years ago, um, has just gone from strength to strength and really widened the net.